welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little, ah, today is going to be, <laughs> today is going to be a little collection and declutter for my video. We are getting ready to probably move from where I'm at, living at right now in our condo, closer to where my husband works. So, and I've been needing to do this for a while. So I thought I would just go through like my collection of eyeshadow palettes I have, and I'm gonna declutter them all. And then hopefully, hopefully, by the time I start posting these videos and you see them, I'm gonna list them on my Depop, which is gonna be listed in the description box down below. So make sure you check out my description box if you wanna see, um, if you wanna purchase any of these palettes. But I got some of my palettes up here, and I'll add more here in a second. Ugh. I thought I would do my eyeshadow palettes first today. So here we're going to start out with this one. That's why I end up bringing this one up first. And this is going to be, I'm going to try to get a, get rid of as much as possible. I don't need all these eyeshadow palettes. And then frankly, to carry all of this... <laughs> To be able to pack all this away is going to be hard. So, let's just go through. I have a bag. So, I have... It's just an Aldi bag that I'm going to place stuff in that I'm getting rid of. And just to have it there for now. But, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to grab whatever out. I'm just going through. These are like eyeshadow palettes and face palettes I'm going to do in this video. Because I know there's face palettes in these and my eyeshadow palette selection too. So the first one I have here is my Cover FX palette. I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Perfector face palette for light to medium skin tones. And this is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this just because I don't use a whole lot of uh, face palettes like this. If I use a face palette, it's going to more likely be a blush palette or something like that. I don't have a whole lot of face palettes that have bronzers and highlighters and stuff in it too. It, most face palettes I have are blushes and I'll probably keep most of them. But I am going to go ahead and sell this one. I've only used it a few times and it was okay. But I don't need it. I have others that I love more in my collection. So this is going to be one of the ones that go. Next, next I have the Urban Decay and Naked Cherry Palette. This is just a highlight and blush palette. It looks like this. I got it when I got my Urban Decay Naked um, collection. When I got the palette, I ended up getting the, the Naked Cherry uh, palette with the highlighter, the blush, and the... Um, that's two different highlights and a blush. But And I would mix like these two together to make like a shimmery blush if I wanted more of a shimmery blush. Or I would mix it sometimes with this one too to make it shimmery. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this too. There's just other blushes that I love more and I don't need to be hoarding all this makeup. <laughs> so that one's going to go. Let's see. Next we have this Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette. It is the blush palette too. It is just straight up blush. This is really pretty, but honestly, I have never even touched this. I got the collection. I wanted to do like a review on my channel for the Wet n Wild Pac Man collection. And I honestly never got around to doing it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this too. It's just something I don't need. If I'm not using it, obviously, I don't need it. <laughs> Next we have, this is the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Palette. It's a blush palette too. This one is just absolutely gorgeous. I got this because Emily Noel was talking about how this was her favorite glowy blushes. And they are also my favorites. I absolutely love this blush palette. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't even look like I've touched it, but I've dipped into this so many times. So I'm going to end up keeping this one for myself just because I really love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, next we have this Tardis Pro Glow palette. It's a highlighter blush, and it has a cream shade, but I think this cream shade is just, I don't know. I try, I like swatch the cream shade, and I've used mostly the highlighter here, because you can see a huge dip in it, and I use this, I use this one for bronzer. This was one of my very first, uh, 
highlight and bronze palettes I ever got. This is pretty old. I don't know if I'm going to sell it, but I'm definitely going to get rid of it. I might see if my sister-in-law wants it first, and if they don't want it, then I might try to sell it. Um, I have never really touched the, the cream. This is the cream product. I've never really touched that. I did like a little swatch to see how it was, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that too. I just don't use it that much. There's other things that I love more. Next, we have this Best of May Cosmetics. This is the Briar Rose Palette. It is from the Sleeping Beauty Collection. And it looks like this. This one is absolutely beautiful. I love this palette. I'm going to keep this one too because I really like the blushes in here. And this uh, highlight is really pretty. And this this is a highlight also, but I use it more like a blush or I mix it with the other blushes to make them like glowy blushes because these are just two matte blushes. But I'm going to keep it because I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Next we have the Natasha Denona Love Glow Palette. This one I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to keep it because I love this palette. It is so pretty, and um, it was like the Natasha Denona Valentine's collection. Now, I really liked it. There's some people that didn't like it, but I love this palette, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one, too. Next, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. It looks like, oops, it looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep this, too. I bought this when they re-released it, and um, Teresa's dad was talking about how good it was. So I have yet to use it because I kind of tucked it back in my collection, and it kind of got lost, and I never got a chance to use it. But I'm going to put it with uh, my palettes that I need to use more so I can get some more use out of this because I've heard a lot of people didn't like it because it was too glittery. But when I seen Teresa's dad, she said that it wasn't and that she really loved it. So I ended up picking it up when it was on sale. Most of the stuff I bought when it was on sale. But I'm going to keep this for myself because I want to test it out. I haven't had a chance to use it yet and I really want to use it. Next, I have this Suva Beauty, the Rose Period uh, Palette. This is just really pretty pinks. And I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put this pie in the maybe pile because I really like the pinks in here. This palette I really liked. It was when I subscribed to the Try Beauty boxes. I really, um, this was the first palette I got. So I subscribed on their Valentine's Day box. It was last year, I think. And this was the first palette I got. And I really like all the pinks. And I'm just such a pink eyeshadow person. But this is going to go into the maybe pile. If I keep too many other pink palettes, then this one will definitely go into the declutter pile. But for now, it's in the maybes. Okay, next we have... The Smoky Glow X Midas Cosmetics. This is her highlighter palette. I love this thing. You can tell I've used it. I'm going to keep this because it's one of my favorites. And I want to keep a lot of my indie brands. I'm only going to get rid of them probably if they're um, discontinued. Or if it's a color story that I'm just not interested in anymore. But I love this. This is one of the first indie brands I purchased from was Midas Cosmetics. So... And I really love their formula. They're so good. So, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> Next, we have the Physician's Formula Butter Collection with Whaley Hong, I think it is. It was a collab with Phy Physician's Formula. And this is what it looks like. I think I might actually declutter this. I want to get their new All-Star palette. It seems more like my skin tone. I feel like this is more for like medium skin tones. And it's a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. And I'll probably post it on my Depop if my sister-in-laws don't want it. <clears throat> but I do love Physicians Formula. I love Physicians Formula, so. <laughs> Next we have, this is the Manny MUA Moonspell palette from Lunar Bo Beauty. Booty. Lunar Booty. And it looks so cool. It's just like a Moonspell book. You can, it has even the gold lettering. I love this thing. 
this thing's never going to go anywhere but here's what it looks like it is just i love the color story i love the neutrals in the middle i love the purples up top i love the green and bluey greens on the bottom this is like my most favorite color story <laughs> or one of my most favorite color stories that I own this one will never get decluttered it is one of my favorite palettes that I own right now <laughs> this, if you haven't tried Lunar Beauty you need to go what are you doing go get a Lunar Beauty palette you won't be disappointed they're really gorgeous next we have the ColourPop it's all good palette they got this one after they released their one that was like all neutrals Here's what it looks like. And it is just a gorgeous color story. I think I'm going to keep this too because I love pinks and purples. And I love ColourPop's formula. ColourPop just has a really good, gorgeous formula. They're cheap. They're so consistent with their formula for as many releases as they have. But yeah, I'm going to keep this. I love it. And after looking at that... After looking at that palette, I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of this Rose Period palette from Super Beauty. i just seen that I have a lot of shades that are like in this palette and my It's All Good palette. So I am going to let that one go. Next we have this thing right here. This was the first ever palette I got from Jeffree Star. I got it because it was affordable and I thought it was a pretty good I have to admit this was I didn't think people said it was really bad but before I got this palette, here's what it looks like before I got this palette I had never tried Jeffree Star's formula so I didn't know how his formula normally is but um I used it on the channel I did a video on it and that's it I think I'm gonna declutter it just because I no longer support Jeffree Star so you're gonna see literally all my Jeffree Star stuff is gonna be posted if my if my sister-in-laws don't want any of it but I'm getting rid of all his stuff <laughs> what he what he did recently was the straw for me that was it I already stopped supporting him but after seeing what he'd done recently with Trisha, I am no longer keeping any of his stuff. So all of his stuff is going to get decluttered today. I'm sorry if you like Jeffree Star or whatever. I'm sorry if you really like Jeffree Star. He's just not for me. He's not the type of person that I want to support. I want to support people that uh, lift others up and don't bring them down and don't talk about them behind their backs and... I've had enough of that in high school. I'm a grown adult now. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need to be having that petty stuff in my life anymore. Enough with that rant. <laughs> next, let's just move on with the palettes. So next I have my ColourPop So Jada palette with Kathleen Lights. And this one I'm definitely keeping. I'm probably going to keep all my big ColourPop palettes. I just love them. So this one is just a beautiful jewel tone palette. This is gorgeous. If y'all don't have this, you need to go get it. I love mine. This is the only ColourPop and Kathleen Lights um, collab I got. But I'm so glad I got this one. I really love the color story. I'm definitely keeping it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start in with my next one. I'll just pull this one for the side. This is my Too Faced palette. I forgot what this is called. The Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. It's a really pretty color story and I love it. And it smells like berries. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I might want to keep this. I just love Too Faced for their aesthetic. What can I say? It gets to the little teenage girl inside of me. <laughs> that apparently is never going to grow up. But I'm going to put that to the side. It's going to be a maybe. I'm not sure yet, but it's a maybe. Next, I pulled out this Natasha Denona. It's a little five pan palette. This is her Lila, mini Lila palette. I love this. I'm not getting rid of this. I love this little color story here. I got this because I seen Emily Noel use it on her channel. And the uh, look she created was so gorgeous. But y'all guys, if you've been watching me, you know I love purples. So this one's going to stay with me. <laughs> and it'll be great if we ever get to travel again. <laughs> Here we have, this is the Essence Cosmetics from Santa with Love palette. This was from not this past year, but 20, 2019's. I think this was 2019's. Um, this was from the 2019 Christmas collection from Essence Cosmetics. And it is very, like, blushy. 
I don't know, it's very rosy toned. You can tell I've used it a few times. I liked it, but I think I have so many that have these tones in it that I want to keep more. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And I'm going to try to clean it. If I sell any of these on my Depop, I am going to try to clean them up for you guys so they don't look so messy. I'll go ahead and pull off the top here. So next we have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. I'm not getting rid of this one either. I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> I love this color story. I like the darker tones to it. And I end up getting this on sale. It was like half off when I got it. It was back when uh, Anastasia was just releasing too many palettes. They were trying to be like ColourPop, but the more expensive version of ColourPop. And I think it was just nobody was buying because they were getting tired of them releasing too many things. But I'm going to keep this one because I like it. <laughs> I like the color story. The color story really appeals to me. Next, we have the Melt She's on Parties Cop. Um, She's on Parties palette. I This is never going to be decluttered on my collection either. This is like the grungy purple color story. Oh, if you want grungy purples, plums, deep plums, this is the palette you should be getting. I love this palette. This is one of my favorite purple palettes that I have. And this will probably never get decluttered either. This will probably stay in my collection forever. But I love this. I'm not getting rid of it. It's one of my favorites. Next we have the Anastasia Subculture palette. This is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And um, it's a definitely a grunge girl's dream. I'm going to keep this too. This one I end up getting from a TJ Maxx. Um, out, TJ Maxx actually. From a little bit ago. I was going to do a video on it too. To see if it was really as bad as everybody said this formula was. But then I heard they reformulate it. And it was better. But I never got around to doing the video. Maybe one day I will do the video still. But I'm going to keep it. Because it's also one of my favorite palettes. <laughs> I love the color story. So next we have the mini breaker palette. I got this one in the Valentine's box, which is actually the first ever thing I purchased from Jeffree Star was the Valentine's mystery box when he started. And it was, I think, the first time he started putting palettes in his mystery boxes. So I got this one. And I have to say, it was the first, if you look back on my channel, the first video I ever did on my channel was testing out this palette. And I have to say, I did really like this palette. This palette performed really good. But I already talked about Jeffree Star and how I'm getting rid of all of his stuff that I have. So, y'all probably see this posted on my on my Depop. Because I'm sure my sister-in-laws are not going to want to go for this bold of a color story. But, I'm getting rid of that one. Next, we have my Midas Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. This was the first ever palette I bought from Midas Cosmetics. And this is when um, Teresa's Deb reviewed it. And I think she had, at the time, she had her her um, discount code. It's code GARBAGE. And you save either 10 or 20% off at Midas Cosmetics. She still has that code. Here's what the inside looks like. I'm going to keep it because I really like this brown here up in the corner. It's a very unique, like, yellow-toned brown. I just think it looks so pretty, and it creates the most beautiful yellow eye looks. <clears throat> so I am going to keep it because I love my Midas Cosmetics palettes. Next, we have my ColourPop Good Sport. I don't remember when this came out, but I didn't have my YouTube channel at the time when I got this. But I'm so glad I got it. Here's what the inside of it looks like. This is probably my favorite color pop palette ever. Ever. Out of everything they have, this one's my favorite one. I'm never going to declutter it. It's just gorgeous. Look at this. This thing is gorgeous. <sighs> I wish they would release this again so more people could get it. Because I think this color story is just beautiful. It has like grungy purples, grungy greens, those beautiful like warm toned brown orange colors mustard yellows it's just beautiful i'll never get rid of that one <laughs> it'll be the color pop palette i keep forever next one i have is the you had me at hello from color pop this is what the inside looks like i think i might get rid of this one just because i'm not into this type of color story that much anymore i got really good use out of it but it's just uh, 
there's other color pop palettes I like better. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to get rid of that one. Next we have the color pop sweet talk palette. You're going to see that I have a lot of color pop. <laughs> so this one is a very peachy, um, color story. I'm going to keep this one too, just because I love the color story and this artwork is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite artworks that ColourPop has done on their palettes. Besides their like special designer palettes. <laughs> Next we have the Disney designer collection from ColourPop. And this is the first ever Disney collab they had with ColourPop. And it looks like this. I think it's called It's a Princess Thing. Yeah, it's called It's a Princess Thing. I'm going to keep this because I'm not getting rid of any of my Disney palettes. I am the biggest Disney fan, so this one I'm keeping. I love Disney. I'm keeping all my Disney palettes. Here we have the ColourPop collab with I La Serie. It's through my eyes palette. This one is just such a gorgeous, unique color story. I've used it, I think, once. I'm going to keep it because I just love this color story. It still gets me. This color right here really gets me. This emerald dream color. So gorgeous. I don't have, I don't think I have anything that looks like that. So I'm going to keep this one. I'll probably end up keeping a lot of my ColourPop palettes. Here we have the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy. It's just a beautiful warm toned shadow. It smells like vanilla. I think all their palettes smell like vanilla, regardless of whether they're supposed to smell like gingerbread spice or not. <laughs> but I'm keeping it. That one I'm keeping. I love my Too Faced gingerbread palettes. Here's the first gingerbread spice palette. I got this one um, half off, actually. When the Extra Spicy came out, they like re-released this one, and then it went half off. So... I went and snatched it up because I wanted it and I never got it from the year that it did release. So I'm going to keep it too. I love these gingerbread palettes. These are these palettes are the only good holiday palettes that Too Faced does. They're really good quality. The ones in the tin packaging. I've been getting them since they started doing the gingerbread spice. Here is my Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette. It looks like this. I think I might actually let this one go. I got this one because I love this color story. It's just reddish, reddish pinks and really pretty. I love this color story and I love this so much. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I need to let some things go. So if it's not, this is like Marie Kondo. If it's not something that brings me joy, then I'm going to let it go. So... <laughs> Not that this doesn't bring me joy anymore. It brings me joy at one time. And I thought I would never declutter this thing at one time. But I don't know. This color story is just so pretty. Oh, what do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> if I sell it, I'll be selling these with the brushes. And I have used some of these brushes. So maybe I'll try to wash the brushes before I sell them. We'll see. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of it. I just need to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Next, we have the Midas Cosmetics Smoky Glow Palette. This one was so excited. So exciting for me. This is one of the things. I just, I don't care. I love this palette. I'm, the color story is a little all over the place. But I love the pinks in here. I love the purples in here. I love the the neutrals here. There's just weird pop of coral, pop of red. I like it because I think you can get like a fun look out of it or you can get like a neutral every day. You can wear it to work look. So I'm going to keep this one for now. I like my Mighty's Cosmetics palettes. Next we have the Natasha Denona Love palette. I can tell you right now I'm going to keep this. <laughs> this is from Valentine's Day too. I think last year I purchased this. I really love this color story. You know, these are my tones. Pinks, purples are my colors. And I love this palette. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> Except for back into my collection. That's where it's going. Back into my collection. <laughs> okay, we got, I brought some more up here for us to 
go through. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, let me tell you. So, I have this ColourPop Disney Villains Misunderstood palette. I literally didn't buy this when it first came out because the packaging didn't appeal to me. The inside really didn't appeal to me. But I need it from, I need to collect the Disney palettes. I don't know why, but I'm collecting all of the ColourPop Disney palettes. So this one's not going to go anywhere. I really, I think the color story is all over the place on this one. But I really love some of these shades. It's a very unique color story to my collection. I'm just going to keep it because I'm collecting all my Disney palettes from ColourPop. <clears throat> so... This one I got is the Zodiac Cosmetics. It's an indie brand. And it's the Gemini palette. I bought this because I've seen um, Seeking Alexandria and um, Teresa's Dead did a video on their, their uh, Zodiac sign. Mine is a Gemini. So I end up getting this palette. I think I might keep it for now. But we'll see. Because I have to be honest, this blue here doesn't appeal to me. I don't like blues or that color. But I like the rest of the palette. Except for blacks. I'm not very into, into blacks either. But the rest of the palette I like. This is like a periwinkle shade. Which is really pretty. And I love these like berry tones here. And this coral. This, I like these tones here. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile for now. And then we'll see how much I keep at the end. And it might get decluttered in the end. If I have, still have too much left over. Out of my eyeshadows. <clears throat> So next we have this Disney Designer Collection, the Midnight Masquerade palette. I didn't get this when it first came out either. I got it later on when it restocked. But here is the color story. When I first seen it, I was like, that looks too much like it's a princess thing from ColourPop. That's why I didn't purchase it at first. But then I ended up going back and getting it because I realized that this has more deeper tones in it than the It's a Princess thing has. And because I decided I wanted to collect all the ColourPop Disney, Disney palettes. So... I end up going back and buying it. <clears throat> Next, I have this Bad Habit. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's the Bad Habit Athena palette. Bad Habit, I don't think, is no longer around. So, it's not like I'm going to show this on my channel. But this is a dupe for the Huda, a Huda Beauty palette. Um... I forgot what the name of it is. Rose gold, maybe? No, that's I don't I don't remember. I'm gonna look it up. I don't remember. It's a dupe for a Huda Beauty palette. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and resell it. It's very like hefty. It feels like very luxurious, but it's time for me to let it go. I haven't used it and I don't think I will. So this is the Natasha Denona Bronze palette. This is the first neutral palette I ever bought. Because it's the first neutral palette that really appealed to me. I have like those orangey, coppery, bronzy colors. I'm going to keep this because I really like this palette. I think it's great if you want everyday neutral eye look. This is a great palette for it. And it even has some of those reddish, reddish bronzy tones that I really like. I'm going to keep this one. I love my Natasha Denona palettes. So... <clears throat> Next we have, this is a Beauty Bay Pastels palette. It says it's a pressed pigment palette. Here's what it looks like. So I got this because I seen where Robert Welsh really liked this palette. I want to put this in the maybe pile because I want to compare it with my Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb palette and see if I really need to keep it up against that one. So this may get decluttered. It's in the maybe pile. Next, I have this from Pat McGrath. It is the Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze Palette. This is the first Pat McGrath palette I ever got. It was, um, when I got it on sale. But I I got it because on their promo pictures on their website, this shade looks more pink than it does in person. It's, I don't know. It just does not, I'm just not into that dark of a color story. So I am going to declutter this because I end up just not liking this color story for me. This made me, <laughs> with this being the first palette I ever purchased from them, this made me wonder if I even wanted to purchase anything else from Pat McGrath. But it turned out I just didn't like this color story. So it's going to go. Next we have the ColourPop Flutter By palette. I told you I had a lot of ColourPop palettes. So this is just a beautiful mauve colored palette. This one's staying with me. I love mauve tones, mauve neutral colors. They're my favorite. So naturally, I'm going to keep most of those. Next, we have the Julius Fla 
Juvia's Place the Berries palette. <clears throat> it looks like this. I'm going to keep it because I don't have too many berries in my collection. And I like the color story. I still love that color story. Oh, next is a blush palette. This is my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. I'm sure you've heard people talk about it. Looks like this. I'm keeping it. I love this blush palette. For a matte blush palette, this one's my favorite. <laughs> where I love that. Where I love the Beauty Bakery for the colors. I like that one for the blushes. The matte blushes, it's really pretty. So here's this ColourPop. It's the All Things Equinox palette. This was like the first release they had during quarantine. This went to Strictly Alta Beauty. I think I'm, even though it is, I it is more um, mauve neutrals and browns and stuff. I think I can get this look out of my Flutter By palette. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one too. <clears throat> And this is a blush palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Peach Truffle Blush. Comes with four blushes. I love this thing. It has these two blushes. These two blushes here are peachy tones, where these are more pink blushes. I like them. I'm going to keep it. They're matte blushes. I don't have a lot of matte blushes, so I'm going to keep that one. Next, we have the She's Got Solstice palette. It looks like this. It is a green and pink blush tone color story. I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. I can get this look out of other color pop palettes I have. I know I can. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Next we have this from Flower Beauty. It's the Jungle Lights palette. I think I'm going to declutter it because I did get this from Ulta Beauty and it came broken. You can see the one shade here is broken. And I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to I'm probably going to see if my sister-in-laws want it. And if they don't want it, I don't know. I might just keep it And for the shades that aren't broken. I'm not one of those people that represses palettes to use them. So, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. I definitely don't want to sell it, though, because it has a broken shade. And I'm not somebody who's going to repress the broken shade. So, <laughs> if I don't, I'll probably just scrape out the palette itself and then declutter it that way and here we have the violet Valse creme brulee fun size palette i think i'm going to get rid of this because i feel like this i can get this color story from um my natasha denona bronze palette it's too similar so i'm going to get rid of this because i like my natasha denona better <clears throat> next we have julia's place this is the violets palette i'm definitely keeping this one because this is a unique Color Story, this is my um, purple palette. I love this. I'm going to keep it. Next, we have the Nubian by Juvia's Place. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is just a warm tone neutral palette. Juvia's Place has some really great shadows. I've never even touched this palette. I got it in the mail, but I just never got around to using it. And I have other color stories that I like better. So this one's going to go. Next we have The Mauves by Juvia Place. I have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes now. So this one looks like that. I love this palette. It's my color story. I love mauve tones on my eyes, on my lips, on my face, cheeks, wherever. I want them all. <laughs> so next we have The um. Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place Palette. These are the most recent collection. This one I'm going to keep. I love it. But I'm going to probably compare it to ColourPop Palette later to see if I need the ColourPop Palette or if I want to keep this one. But I want to keep this. So I might end up decluttering a ColourPop Palette later one that looks similar to that. Next we have this Revolution Pro Rock and Royal Palette. It is a purple palette. Looks like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I got this because it was supposed to be like a dupes for the Pat McGrath shadows. And uh, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips has all of them. And she talked about it having some of the special shades like Pat McGrath does. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter. And I will sell this on my Depop. I'm sure my sister-in-laws won't want this one because I, I feel like they'll just want um, colors that are more neutral. So I'm not going to, I'll probably show it to them, but I'm sure they won't get it. 
So next we have the ColourPop Meant to Be palette. I'm going to keep this one. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to keep these because I got it and I still haven't been able to use it. I don't, I use more of these colors in the spring and summer. So I'm going to use it when spring and summer comes along again. But I did get this when they restocked it because I had seen so many gorgeous looks for. People were doing so many gorgeous looks with it that I wanted to have it. So I ended up getting it. And I'm going to keep that one. Here we have the ColourPop uh -huh Honey Palette. <coughs> Here's what it looks like. And I think I'm going to keep this one too. I like the colors in here, the yellows. They're really pretty. Uh, I know I just kept the Midas Cosmetics uh, Lemonade Palette. Work. So here we have, this one is the ColourPop and this one is Midas Cosmetics. There are different color stories, I feel like. They're different enough, I think, to keep them. Especially the shimmers. I don't love that this has that pressed glitter in the middle. But I think I'm going to keep it for now. It may or may not get decluttered in the end. <laughs> so next we have, this is from Shantikai. And this is the Hummingbird Eye Quart Quartet in Warm. Looks like this. The inside, it's just a quad. So the inside looks like, I'm trying to, because it has, there we go. So the inside looks like this. So it's like a warm tone palette. I'm going to get rid of it. I kind of regret purchasing this one. It's not my favorite. I tried it out and I did a video on my channel for it. But it's just not something that I love. So I am going to get rid of this one. Unfortunately. And it was expensive. So we'll see how much I can get off, off of it. Off of Depop. Next I have this. Next I have this from Shantikai 2. This is the Radiance Chic cheek and highlighter duo this is in the shade rose it has a beautiful whale shark on it i have to be very careful because this highlighter shade here it comes out <sighs> I'm debating on whether i want it i feel like i have these shades and other ones and i feel like i totally wasted my money because this was expensive too shantikai is a really expensive luxury brand so I don't know. The, I feel like even the highlighter is just a little bit too dark for my skin tone. And it looks gorgeous, but it's more of a natural highlight. And I like more of... I like some natural highlights, but I like more of a pop in my highlights. So, I just went ahead and <laughs> considered this into my face palettes because it came with the highlight and a blush. But I'm going to go ahead and declutter this too because it just wasn't my favorite. Even though I love the packaging. Packaging is 10 out of 10. The inside... Not my favorite. We'll see how much I can get out of it. Because this, I think, is normally $80. And I've only used it one time. So, I might at least try to get 40 out of it. Which is half off. <laughs> but, they are expensive. Here we are with this pal power now. I'm gonna... This is the Revolution Pro. The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the Jack palette. And here's what it looks like. And my, actually, my husband got this for me for uh, Halloween. And I don't know. I'm very, I'm very torn on whether I want to get rid of it because it really wasn't my favorite palette, color story-wise and performance-wise. And there's others that I just love more. So I think I'm going to do the hard decision and get rid of it. I feel bad because my husband was the one that bought this for me. But I basically got it for to do a video on my channel. And it just... It wasn't my favorite. And like I said, Maria Kondo. If it doesn't bring me joy, it's going to go bye-byes. <laughs> Here's the ColourPop Baroque palette. This was from the Dark Blooms, I think was the collection. The Dark Blooms collection. And this is what it looks like. And I love, every time I look at this, I absolutely love it. But these duochromes here, <clears throat> these two duochromes here just disappoint me every time I put them on my eye. They're just not, I like a bright and shiny um, a metallic shade and shimmers. I like them to be really pop and be bright. These, even with glitter glue, even with setting spray, neither one of these pop. So I'm just like, do I keep it though? Even though I love all the other colors I like, 
I don't know. This is going to go into the maybe pile. And if I have too many I'm keeping at the end, then I might toss this too. And I might declutter it too and sell it. But I'm just so torn on that one because I love the color story. It's absolutely... This is absolutely the most unique color story that I have in my collection. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. Because it was a really unique color story to me in my collection. But I feel like why should I keep it if I only love the mattes? <laughs> and I've never, I've never loved a palette just for the mattes. I don't know if I want to, do I want to reach into another palette for the shimmers? I don't know what I want to do yet. But I'm going to keep this in the maybe pile. And at the end, if I have... Too many palettes that I'm keeping, then it'll get decluttered. <clears throat> so this is my Star Wars Mandalorian, the child. It's called the Star Wars Mandal the Mandalorian, the child palette with ColourPop. I'm absolutely keeping this one. I love this color story. It's so beautiful. I've used this a few times, and it's easily one of my favorite green palettes. I love that it has more neutrals in there but it's mostly green there's only two neutrals so i love that about it it's absolutely one of my favorites and it's staying in my collection so next we have the pat mcgrath labs palette this is the mothership omega celestial divinity palette and it looks like this i'm keeping it i love this color story and i love these shimmers they're very bright and shiny <laughs> they're like ultra metallic and I just love them and I love the color story so that one's gonna stay with me next we have this is the Nikki tutorials and Beauty Bay collab and it's pretty here's what it looks like it's really pretty but it's just the shimmers are gorgeous the mattes are okay I just have other things that I love more. And I have to be honest, I'm not the big fan of how it opens and how it has a mirror, you know. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this. Even though I like Nikki Tutorials and I love the aesthetic of especially this side of the palette. I don't think the dark side matched as dark and grungy as the outside looks. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, and declutter that too. Okay. Next, I have this BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palette. So I'm probably going to keep all of these. This one's the orange. It's the orange sorbet one. Then I have the sugar cone one. I don't have any neutral palette that looks like this. This was the first one that's like an actual neutral brown palette. <laughs> it's not too warm tone, not too cool tone. I think it's actually neutral. I'm going to keep it. I also have the cotton candy one. Y'all already know from looking at the color story that I'm going to keep it. They're just very unique to my collection. Next, I have this um, BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette. And I actually got this at um, TJ Maxx for $2.50. <laughs> and it looks like this. I'm going to keep this. It's totally unique to my collection. I just love, I love these. Even for, I can't wear them all as highlights. I can wear some as like inner corner highlights. And I love that about it. So, I'm going to keep it. The fact that I got it for only $2.50 is just like icing on top of the cake. I found another, here's another BH Sweet Shop palette. This is a cherry on top one. It looks like this. That's totally unique to my collection too course I'm keeping all the sweet shop palettes like I was saying <clears throat> next we have this ColourPop hocus pocus palette it's the gather around sisters palette and it looks like this we all know the controversy that went over with this and I can't even believe that they didn't do a restock there was a lot of people upset about that but you also have to think that they have to go through Disney Disney might have not wanted them to do a restock and that's probably why they never did that might have been why this was limited edition maybe Disney didn't want it to be restocked they just wanted to make so many and then when they made it they made it and that's it 
I'm keeping this. I'm never getting rid of this one. I can tell you that right now. This will always stay in my collection. Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies. I've watched it growing up every Halloween. It's never going to be gone from my collection. Next, we have this Beauty Bay. This is a Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay. Oh. And this is what the color story looks like. I just love the purples and the teals in here. But it's probably going to go in the maybe pile. Because if I'm keeping too many, I'll be honest with myself. I'll probably get rid of it. Even though I love it. And it has this most gorgeous duochrome here. Of like purple and green. It's beautiful in the eyes. But I just don't know if I'm going to keep it. <laughs> it's going to go in the maybe pile. Like if I keep too many palettes, I'll get rid of it. But if I'm not keeping too many palettes, then maybe I'll keep it too. I don't know. I just got this one this past Halloween too. Okay. Next, I have the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. The only one I don't have, their big collections, the only one I don't have is the Bare Necessities one. And this is what it looks like. I haven't used it yet. I want to do a video on it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I'm going to keep it. Keeping this one. I love the color story. I think it's a gorgeous color story. Next, we have this e.l.f. palette. This is the... I don't remember what it was called. It was a gingerbread or something palette. I, that's the only thing I hate about Elf. Elf needs to start writing the names on the back or something of what their palettes are. They don't write the name on what anything is. But this was in their holiday collection. And I really like the oranges in here. But I think I might declutter it. It was really pretty. And I use this a lot. I love this palette. Especially this shimmer here. It's really gorgeous. But I feel like especially since the my favorite shades were like the oranges and stuff. I feel like I can get that out of my Sweet Shop palettes from BH. So I think I'm just going to declutter this. And sell it on my Depop. If my sister-in-laws don't want it. Next we have this Revolution uh, makeup Revolution palette. This is the Forever Flawless palette. <clears throat> I got this in either TJ Maxx or Marshalls because I think it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nudes, which I really want the Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. <laughs> I keep on saying booty. Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I've been lusting after that palette since it came out. Still haven't bought it. <sighs> they had it on sale too for Black Friday and at the time I just didn't have money to get it. It was like half off or something like that. It was a cheap price but I did, at the time I just didn't have the money for it. I want to keep this for now because I haven't had a chance to use it to see how I like it. I want to do a video on my channel over it. Probably a testing TJ Maxx and Marshalls makeup video because I did get it there. And I think I only paid like 4 or $5 at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for it. So I'm going to keep that one. Next, we have the Essence Never Give Up Your Daydream eyeshadow palette. And this is like an iridescent palette. And I got this mainly for inner corner highlights. They are all shimmer shades. Yeah, these are all like shimmer shades. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So I'm going to keep this one. Because I got this mainly to have some unique inner corner highlights. So I'm going to keep this one. For now. I just want to use it to see how I like it, and then it might get decluttered if I don't like it. So here we have the Raw Beauty Christie collab with Pure Cosmetics. I love the idea of this. It has a colorful side with that beautiful shimmer in the middle. And then there's also this nude side. I'm going to keep this. I love this palette. I think this is the most perfect palette for traveling if we ever get to travel again and i take makeup with me this would be the palette i take because i love that this one side for one i love that there's two sides and there's a mirror on each side which is awesome i also love the fact that there's a neutral side where you, it actually has like pinky tones in it if you want more rosy tones but i love that there's also this colorful side <coughs> I love that there's also this colorful side, so if you want to do like a colorful look, you could. So I feel like this is like the most versatile palette if you're going to travel. It's compact, and it was well thought out. I think she did an awesome job with this collab with Pure. This formula is really good, and it's one of my favorite one of my favorite palettes. The next one we have is her other collab, but this one was with Color Bob. 
whole color mom she did color pop at this is the at for sight palette i love the artwork on this out on this palette especially the watercolor trees gorgeous love the mushrooms this is what the inside looks like i just love that it's like a grungier color story i'm gonna keep it because i love this color story it's beautiful and she did an awesome job with that collab too so <laughs> next we have the color pop sailor moon palette I got this because I want to do a full face of ColourPop video. And I thought I want to get a new palette to have for it. And I've been lusting after this because it has like those pastels. And people are still, still, I don't know if it's Sailor Moon. But everybody says this palette's really good. I didn't get it at first because I honestly did not watch Sailor Moon growing up. I may have seen like a couple episodes. But I wasn't like obsessed with Sailor Moon. But yeah, this one's going to go. Or this one I'm gonna keep. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> I want to use it and see if it's really worth the hype that everybody puts around it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these little, these little ones up here next. These are all my ColourPop monochromatic palettes, which I really need to cut throat on these ones. I don't feel like I need all of these monochrom. At first I was like, I want to collect them all, but. In reality, if I'm going to keep moving around while we save money to buy a house, if I probably if we were if we were uh, bought a house and we're living in our own house, then I probably would keep most of these because we wouldn't have to move a lot. But since we're moving a lot, I'm I'm trying to just be strict and cut. So here's this ColourPop Orange You Glad palette. Looks like this. I honestly do love this color story but and yes i'm going to go back to these bh cosmetics palettes <laughs> as much as as much as i love color pop here is the one from bh cosmetics and here is the one from color pop i think they are different but close enough i don't love that this one has a uh, pressed glitter in it so I think because I have the BH Cosmetics one, I'm going to declutter this one. I only need really one orange palette. And you guys, I never even touched this. I got it and I wanted to do a video on it. I think I might have bought these when I was thinking about starting my YouTube channel. It was before I started my YouTube channels that these came out. But um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I have the BH Cosmetics orange one, so I don't need that one. Here's this one. This one is the main squeeze palette. It's like, it's more of like a red tone palette. And this might go in the maybe pile. I haven't even touched this one either. Which makes me wonder, am I ever really going to touch it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking about decluttering this one too. I got this one because I wanted more red tones, but I don't know. Let me see. I think I might have to turn the light on because it's starting to get dark. So I have this one, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan. I love the color story, but I need to get rid of things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter. I'm gonna declutter. I don't want to declutter a whole lot of color pop, but it might happen. So here is the blue moon palette. I turned on a light, so hopefully it's not too bright for y'all. And I think I'm going to declutter this just because it's not my most favorite blues. It has that, I hate that blue. I don't like the color of that blue or that blue. I don't know. It just wasn't the blue color story I love. I love this shade. I love this shade. And I, I think I like this shade too, but it's just not my blue color palette. I don't know. I'm going to declutter it. Here's what it's going to come down to. <laughs> this one is the It's My Pleasure palette. This one is probably what it's going to come down to. I still have the thing on this too. I have used this one and it is so gorgeous. I don't know if I can get rid of this now that I'm looking at it. Oh, I might have to keep it. I'll put it in my maybe pile. And if I'm keeping too many, I will get rid of it. But I feel like, do I not have these colors in the Flutterby palette? Where's my Flutterby palette? <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's investigate. Let's see. Mm, it's different. It is different. Okay, it's going to go in my baby pile. It might get rid of. 
I might not. Here, this is the one I wanted to compare to the one palette from Juvia's Place. This is the Ooh La La palette. And I really do like these brighter pink tones in here. But, here is this, the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. Let's look at this one. My baby pile is getting pretty big. So, I have the Sweet Pinks from Juvia's Place. So, I know I really need both color stories. Probably not. I can definitely get the same type of look out of my Juvia's Place palette as I can. This one, the only one that's really unique is this gold shade here and this really pretty... This was a really pretty for an inner corner highlight, but I'm gonna put it in my baby pile. We'll see what my we'll see what my makeup collection looks like in the end. And then I'll decide on whether I'm gonna get rid of it or not then. Here I have the just my luck palette from ColourPop. I've used this a few times for my um St. Patrick's Day looks. And I really do want to keep it, but at the same time, they're not it's not my most favorite green palette. I like make. I love this shade. This shade's my favorite shade out of the palette. I like that one and I like this one, but the greens here, like this green and that green, they're not my most favorite greens. I have other greens that I like more. It's just preference. They work good. The formula is amazing. It's the usual color pop formula. It's just. <sighs> I think this year on St. Patrick's Day, I would probably wear my Meant to Be palette over my Just My Luck palette. So I'm just going to declutter this. Okay. Next, we have the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. It's a limited edition collection of Wet n Wild. It's no longer available. I was going to do a video. I was going to do a video on it. I think I'm just going to declutter it because I never got around to doing the video. But I heard really good things about it and that it was a pretty good formula, actually. So, I'm going to put it up to sale. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of it. Next, we have this one. This is my Tarte Mermaid palette. I don't remember what the name of this palette was called. This is the first ever high-end palette I bought. And you can tell. You can see the dents. I'm sure I'm close to hitting pan on at least three of these shades, if not more. I love this palette. This palette, I'll never get rid of. I use this palette on my wedding day with um, the Stila Kitten Karma. Um, glitter and glow shadow on top and it was just gorgeous I used these mattes in here and then I I think I even used yeah I used this um, shimmer on my lid but then I topped it with the Stila Kitten Karma glitter and glow and it created the most gorgeous neutral mauvey pink look I got so many compliments on my wedding day when I did that makeup everybody's talking about how good it looks so this just has a lot of memories attached to it so I'm not going to get rid of this palette and not to mention that Tarte has my, they are my aesthetic is Tarte. So, so here's a single shadow. This is from ColourPop. This is the Under the Sea one. I think this was from their first collection. This is the Super Shock. It's a really pretty shade. This is from the Ariel. I'm going to keep it. I love using these. I've been getting into like one shadow looks lately. So I love using the ColourPop Super Shocks for just one shadow all over the eyes. I use my finger and just go in and put it all over my eyes. And I'm going to keep this one for that. Okay, so I have this. This is the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics Palette. I got this from BoxyCharm. And the color story, gorgeous. But it is just so bulky. I love the color story. It's a gorgeous, um, blushy, mauve neutrals with the pops of blue in here I lo absolutely love this color story but I think I'm gonna get rid of it just because I am moving and this is like such bulky packaging I feel like they need to make their packaging a little bit thinner they can make it like the lunar beauty moon spell palette make their books like that then I would more than likely keep it but this one I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna bring over my big palettes now these big palettes take up my collection. So, <laughs> we already see what's on top, don't we? So this is the Jeffree Star Alien palette. I got this in a, in a mystery box. You already know. Even though I don't want to because I love the greens in here. It's, that purple especially is really good. I'm going to declutter because you all know I can't keep it. I'm not going to use this on my channel. I don't know. Jeffree Star is bye-bye. 
Bye, Jeffrey. Bye. You're canceled from me. Anyways, that one I'll probably end up selling. I'm sure my sister-in-laws aren't going to be interested in that color story. This is the first one I actually bought from Jeffree Star. This is his Royal palette. What's it called? He called it the Bloodlust palette. <laughs> and it looks like this. And I'll be honest, I love the colors in this. I would like to keep this. People said what purple they didn't under at the time pastels were what was in. So I know that's why he that's probably why he did a lot of pastels. People wanted really dark purple shade and he didn't give that to them. He gave them this. <laughs> and everybody was upset with his palette. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because it's too bulky. I am moving and I need to make cuts. And even though I do truly love this color story, I thought this was a really good, um, he had a really good, um, formula here. His formula was really good in this one. And I just don't depot to put in, I was thinking I could depot it and put it in my, um, magnetic palettes. Because this shade and this shade is really gorgeous. I don't know, I just, I don't really like this color story. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, it gets me. I do like this green too, but I'm not a big fan of the red. I'm not, I do like this color, but the red is just off for me. I don't know why he put the red in there. He says he likes reds with purples. That's a no for me. <laughs> I'm going to just declutter it. Y'all know I'm getting rid of Jeffree Star's stuff. So he's gone. He's gone. Next we have this Moschino. I think that's how you say it. Moschino and Sephora palette. This thing is, looks like a laptop. <laughs> It's the laptop palette. I'm going to keep this because this color story, is, this is actually a really good palette. This silver is like liquid metal on your eyelids. It was gorgeous. I got this when it was on sale for, I believe, half off because I think it was normally $60. And I can see why this is heavy. It has this huge mirror here. But, I mean, I really liked it. I thought it was a nice color story. You can get neutrals. You can get colorful looks out of it. It is a bigger palette. But... I don't want to get rid of it yet. I'm not ready to let go of it yet. So I'm going to keep this one. Next we have the Sleeping Beauty palette. I did review this on my channel. It went with the Briar Rose palette. Ugh. You guys. This is so gorgeous. It's like a book. I wish it would have been heavier material though. It even has like all the book stuff in here. <clears throat> and in the back is the color story. I think I'm going to get rid of it because when I got it at the time, I didn't realize that it was an all matte palette. And I'm not an all matte palette kind of person. I'm not a person who's going to use mattes in my crease and then pull in a shimmer shade. I like my palettes to have mattes and shimmers mixed. I'm not even a person who likes an all shimmer palette. Although I'm not as opposed to all shimmer palette as I am to all matte palette. So I am going to get rid of this. This performed really good. And it has gorgeous, like, muted purples, pinks, greens, blues. I like the colors in here. I just wish there was some shimmers to go with the mattes. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this Sleeping Beauty palette, <laughs> even though I really liked it. Next, we have the Zodiac Cosmetics palette. This is the Love Signs one. I don't have the original one because uh, at the time I wasn't into cool tones. I liked more warm tones. But here is this one. I think I'm going to keep this one too. I just like BH Cosmetics is like an, they're flying under the radar. They have really great eyeshadow formula. It's just I think their color stories don't appeal to most people. But this one is really pretty. I really like this color story. I love the shimmers in here. I think I could use these for just like an all over shimmer shade for most of these. So I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to keep a few of my bigger palettes. Ones that I really love, I'm going to keep. So here we have my ABH Norvina palette. This is the only one I got. This was volume four of when they were releasing all those mega palettes. I think they were trying to make that a thing and it really wasn't. But here's what the color story looks like. I'm going to keep it just because it's more of a cooler toned color story. I love the bright pinks. I like the purples. I like the neutrals. I'm not the biggest fan of these um, glitter shades in here, but I like the rest of it. And I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I bought it and was going to review it on my channel, and it just never got around to it. So I am going to use it on my channel sometime, but I am going to keep it because I bought it. It's one that I absolutely love. Now, this one I haven't had a chance to even look at. <laughs> well, I looked at it, but I bought this Morphe palette. This is the... um. 
such a gem such a gem 39s palette it says on the back and i really want to keep it but i don't think i will here it is it's a beautiful pink and purple color story these colors are gorgeous i never even got a chance to use it, it has some pressed glitters in here it even has some neutral shades but as much as i want to keep it i know i need to let a lot of this go now am i gonna really reach for a palette that's this big I'm probably going to reach more for, I'll be honest, I'll probably reach more for a ColourPop palette or my Juvia's Place palette if I want purple looks or pink looks. I'm going to let it go. i got to let it go, you guys. i got to do it. Okay. Next, we I don't even know if I want to let this go. Next, we have the Wet n Wild. I think this was called the 40 palette. This was the most famous dupe for the James Charles palette. He got really upset when they released this. They did it for the 40th anniversary. And I think I might just declutter it. I don't know. This was actually a really good palette. I loved the formula. The formula was really good in here. But I just don't know. I'm like I'm so torn on these bigger color stories of whether to keep them or not. But I feel like I have these colors in other palettes. Even my bigger color pot palettes, I have these colors. I'm so torn on whether to get rid of this because I know this is this was a limited edition thing and it's kind of like a collector's item. But it's like, am I really going to reach in here and use these shades? I did for a video, but am I going to use it? I hate that I have to be so cutthroat on, <laughs> on what I'm doing here. Mm. You guys, I don't know what to do about this one. I guess maybe stick it in my maybe pile. Along with everything else, we'll see. We shall see. I love that color story too. Here we are, we'll just start. This is like kind of backwards, but we'll just start with this. This is the Tetris palette. I think it was a collab with Ipsy. It looks like this, as you can tell, it has the plastic still on it. I never used it, even though I like it because it had those two pinks and purples in it. Plus I had the silver I like, but I'm gonna declutter it. I just never got around to using it. And there's just other palettes that I do like more than this one. So, that one's going to go. <laughs> hey, this is the Physician's Formula palette. This was the Rosé All Play palette. This one I got because it reminded me a lot of the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. But I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because, for one, this part right here is like plastic. I wish it would have just made the whole thing cardboard instead of having that plastic piece over top just so you could see through. But... Yeah, I'm going to declutter this one. I have the um I have the a couple palettes that already look like this and I don't need any more that look like that. Here is my Too Faced White Peach palette. And it looks like this. I have used this quite a bit. I do have to say though that I have other shadows that I like better even though I've used this one a lot. I have other shadows I like better, so I think I'm going to declutter this one. It still smells like peaches, though. It smells so good. <laughs> Their palette smells so good, but there's other ones I like better than this one. This is my Best of My Cosmetics Snow White palette. This is limited edition. They don't have this no more. This was a limited edition collection, and it does have some shimmers, but it's not my favorite color story. The color story just doesn't inspire me. If I'm not inspired by a color story, then I need to let it go. So this one's going to go. So next we have the Suva Beauty Protégé palette. I got this in a box charm too. Looks like this. I did use it um, a few times because I like the purples up top and the neutrals weren't bad either. But I'm going to declutter it just because there's other palettes that I like more in my collection than this one. So next we have this Morphe palette. This one is the um, 15D Day Slayer palette. And this I got in a boxy charm. It looks like this. I never used it. I was going to do a video on it and get around to using it. But I never really got around to using it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one. Okay. Next we have this Pure Cosmetics palette, the Festival palette. I also got this in a boxy charm. This was like one of my favorite boxy charm palettes I got. This one is actually pretty good, you guys. I have to admit I really like this palette, but I think I'm just going to let it go. 
there's other things in my collection that bring me more joy and inspire me more than this palette now. Even though the most I really love the the um packaging on this. This just reminds me of summertime in Florida, California, the beach. <clears throat> Next we have this Urban Decay Elements palette. I almost feel like this was Urban Decay trying to be like um BH Cosmetics and do their version of the Zodiac palette, but this one's the Elements palette. Um, I think I'm gonna let this go. This color story doesn't really inspire me, and I bought it a while back when it came out. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this one. There's other color stories in my collection that I love more than that one. So <laughs> next we have this one. I think I got this in a boxy charm too. This one is the Tarte palette. Be You Naturally palette. Looks like this. I think I might have used it one time. But it's just I have other colors I like better. So that one's going to get decluttered. So here's this one. I actually have two of these palettes. Because I bought one and then I got one in BoxyCharm. But I've never used them. These are the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palettes. I have two of them. So this is what they look like. It's mainly all shimmers. There's like one matte, I think. And the rest are shimmers. This would probably, now that I'm thinking about it, would be good for like a one and done eyeshadow look. Especially this shade would look good in the inner corner. This would probably be really great for that. At the time I wasn't appreciative of that because, um, because I was not into those type of shades. Now I am. But I still think I'm going to declutter it. Here's what the other one looks like. This one I've actually swatched and used. The other one I haven't. But, yeah, it just comes with one matte shade, which is a very light matte shade. It's not one that's going to show up on a whole ton of skin tones. But the shimmers are actually pretty good. I really like the shimmers from Tarte. I think they're really gorgeous. Especially if you add, if you use a setting spray or you add glitter glue, they're really pretty. Next we have this one. This is the Tarte Pineapple Palette. <laughs> Is it called that? What's it called? It doesn't say. So this is the Tarte Pineapple Palette. And they did this for a... It was a Christmas collection. So, I'll open it up. So this is what it looks like. And I do love the color story. And it comes with a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlight. I do love this color story. Those I hate to say it. Tarte's neutral color stories. It has pinks, it has purples, it has that pop of green and blue. I really like the color story. <sighs> I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. Even though I've never even used this, I don't think. Or maybe I have. No, I haven't. I don't think I've even used this. And it does come with like a divider, plastic divider thing here. I might have used it once. <laughs> Is it sad that you don't even remember if you've used it? But I just love the color story when I look at it. I love that color story. But it also looks kind of like the mermaid palette, doesn't it? <laughs> that I'm keeping. Uh, maybe pile. Maybe pile. It's definitely going in the maybe pile. So Next we have this iconic London palette. It's called the Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. I did get this in a BoxyCharm too. It looks like this. And it is definitely... My color story, I love the the neutrals in here, the shimmers. This is actually a really good palette. I just only used it one time in my BoxyCharm video that I did. But I'm going to get rid of it just because it is a bulkier palette. It's more of a thicker palette. And it's just not, so, not a color story I love anymore. So, there's that. Mm. Now we have these smaller palettes here. Okay, we we'll start with this one. I have the <laughs> the Too Faced a Peanut Butter and Honey palette. I got this when it was on sale. I haven't even used it, honestly. I think I'm just going to declutter it. I never got around to using it. I got it mainly because it has these pretty pinks and that pop of yellow appealed to me. But, yeah, there's other color stories I have. I love more. Next, we have this Wonder Beauty Wonders Seascape palette. It looks like this. I think I've used it a couple times. Maybe once or twice. 
did I really use this? <laughs> I don't remember if I used it or not. I think I wanted to use it because the shimmers look really pretty. But I never got around to using it. There's just other color stories I love more. So this one's going to go. You guys, this is probably going to be a really long video. So I hope you buckled in. Here we have the Nubian by Juvia's. This was just the mini palette. I think I got this in a Allure beauty box. It was the one that was a takeover by... um. Nikki Tutorials, and I have used this a couple times, or at least once. I think I'm going to get rid of it, though. Just not my color story anymore. Next, we have this Lime Crime Venus XL Rose Gold Palette. It looks like this. I got this because it was like mauve neutrals, you know, my usual mauve neutral shades, but it's just not my... I have other ones that I love more, and this one is also bulky packaging. We love that they really like bulky packaging with um Urban Dec or Glam Crime. Next we have the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette. This I got this one. It was on sale too, and it looks like this. I'm gonna get rid of it because it's all mattes. That's one of the things I didn't realize when I bought this that it was all mattes. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I'm just like I said, I'm not into all mattes. I'm not an all matte eyeshadow person. Okay. Okay, this is from my when Shop Miss A AOA Studio palette. They had singles. This is just a, a magnetic palette with singles in it. It looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I just have other palettes that I love more, even though these shades were pretty good. I was surprised at how good these were. But I'm going to go ahead and declutter it, the magnetic palette and all. Next, we have this Ulta Beauty Sunset Skies palette. Um, I got this because there's a makeup Facebook group I'm on. And they were talking about how good this palette was. And it was a really good palette. I really liked it. The color story is really pretty. But I just have other palettes I love more. So I am going to declutter that one too. Next, I have... Majesty, this man, I don't even remember this one. This says Majesty palette. Looks like this. I'm going to declutter it. I don't even remember this. I guess it's an eyeshadow palette. I don't know. This must have came in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. Probably a BoxyCharm. But I'm going to declutter it because I don't think I ever used it. Next, we have these from Maybelline. This is the Lemonade Craze palette. This was actually a really pretty color story, although I do have to say I have other ones that I love more, even though I really love this. And you can tell I've used this quite a few times, but I'm going to declutter it. Next, we have the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. This was really pretty, too. I love the purples in here, but... There's just other color stories I love more. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that too. Okay, I'm back. I think I have the rest of my eyeshadows. But don't quote me on that. Oh, wait a second. I'll be right back. I meant to go get another bag. <laughs> now I'm back. <laughs> I went to get another bag from my eyeshadow palettes. That one got full. I'm getting rid of a lot. <laughs> so this one is a Morphe palette. This was the Boss Mood 35M Boss Mood palette. And I got it just because it has this beautiful grungy color story. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I never got a chance, never got around to using it. I wanted to review it for my channel, but I just not, I never got around it. And there's other palettes that I love more in my collection. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Morphe, so this one's going to go. Next, we have this. It's the Chocolate Box palette. I got this in a um, Ipsy. No, Try Beauty Box is where I got this. And it has a pretty color story. It comes with two highlights, and it has a pretty neutral color story. I used this one time for a video, but I have other palettes that I like more, so I'm going to get rid of this one. There's other color stories that I really love. Okay. Here's this Nomad Cosmetics X Lago de Como, de Como palette. 
and it's from Lake Como. Color story looks like this. I think I want to get rid of it just because it's not my most favorite color story. This is not the colors I gravitate towards when I'm when I do it, but I use this one time. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. There's other color stories that I love more than that one. So next we have the Glam Light Street Taco. I got this in a I got this in a foodie box that they do. And I do honestly love this color story. I like these colors. The shimmers are so gorgeous. I look at the pictures that I took when I did um of my video on this and I love the way my makeup look turned out. They have a really good color story, but this is just it's bulky and hard to pack hard to store and I need to get rid of things because we are moving and I need to just take with me what I absolutely love and that's not one of them so <laughs> next we have this is my one of my newest palettes this is the Morphe Lisa Frank palette it's the 35B Lisa Frank palette it's like a rainbow collection I'm going to keep it just because it's Lisa Frank and I love the packaging the, it performed okay for me but I just love that it's shaped like a Trapper Keeper and it reminds me of my middle school years where I had Lisa Frank everything. So I am going to keep that palette. Okay. Next we have this Urban Decay and Naked Honey palette. I got this when it was on sale. I have yet to use it, but I'm going to keep it. I just love this neutral color story here. It's more of a yellowish browns, which I love. So I'm going to keep it. It's actually one of their palettes that was really good. So I'm going to keep that one. Next we have this Natasha Denona. It's a diamond and blush palette. It's a highlighter and a blush palette. It looks like this. I got this on sale through the um, Sephora on the sale section part of the site. It has some creams that are protected here by this thing here and then there's powders there I'm gonna keep it because I like it I really like that one next I have the Natasha Denona Tropic palette this one normally retails for $129 I end up getting it on sale though on Sephora's website they had it on sale I think I'm gonna keep it I haven't had a chance to use it yet <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to keep it because I like my Tatasha Denona palettes. They're some of my favorite palettes that I own. Not as much as the these Pat McGrath palettes I have, but I love my Tatasha Denonas. This is my Lion Crime Venus 3 palette. It looks like this, so I got it because of the color story. But if, I, if I'm honest, I like the color story, but I'm just not a big fan of Lion Crime. So I think I'm just going to toss this one. Two, it's gonna get decluttered. My Poshmark is my Poshmark. My Depop is gonna be hopping after this. So this is a Tarte palette. This is the High Tides and Good Vibes palette. I just love Tarte's aesthetic. I'm like a big lover of the ocean and the beach, and I've always loved it. Even when I was younger, going to Florida every year to visit my grandparents, who are already passed away now. So I don't have any more grandparents now, but. I used to go every, they used to live in Florida, and I would go every summer as I was growing up, and we always went to the beach and did things, and this just, I think that's what brought brought with me the love of the beach and the ocean and the water, and I just love being in the water. <laughs> so here's what this color story looks like, and yes, it looks like every other Tarte palette, but I'm going to keep it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, and I believe I got this on sale too. Most of these palettes I have, I bought them when they were on sale, if I still wanted them. So, this really appealed to me because of the packaging when it came out. And I think these, even though I know these are glitters, these shades just really appealed to me. So, I'm going to keep it for now. It might end up getting decluttered later on, but for now, I'm keeping it. Next, we have this. This is the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. It's like the one I showed you that's broken, except for none of the shades are broken. When uh, Ulta resent it to me, they had came in tats. But these shades are absolutely gorgeous. If you love the ultra metallic, shiny, gonna see you from space type of shades, these is the palette for you. I'm gonna definitely keep this one. 
And now I'm thinking I might try and press on the other one. I might try and press that shade together and try and sell it on my Depop. If anybody wants the one that has the broken shade in it, I'll try and press it back together to see if I can get it together and clean it up for you guys. I'll try to sell it and see if anybody wants it. But if not, then I'll probably end up just keeping it. I'll probably just end up keeping it for myself. So here's some of the most recent ones I got. These are the Kaja Bento boxes. I have all of them. This one is Chocolate Dahlia. It looks like this. You know, it has the stackable things. This one has mattes in it too, along with some shimmers. It has the mattes. I'm going to keep all these because I love... I just recently got them. This one is um, Flowing Guava. I just... I heard really good things about the shimmers. And this one has mattes in it too. It's these ones that are all shimmers. I haven't used them yet, but I just recently got them. So I have this one's Rose Water and this other one is Orange Blossom. But these shimmers I heard are really gorgeous. I haven't had a chance to use them yet, but I'm probably going to use them in a TJ Maxx video. Here is the Orange Blossom one. <clears throat> Looks like this. They're just really pretty color stories. I'm keeping these. I want to get a chance to use them before. And I've been into the one and done eyeshadow looks. And those are perfect for one and done eyeshadows. <laughs> Next we have this Natasha Denona mini palette. I didn't realize. I got this on sale. And I didn't realize when I got it on sale. That it is basically the last row in the mini tropic palette but from what i heard the um last row in the mini tropic palette was not a very good formula and apparently they reformulated it now, i don't know if this was the reformulated version and this version is supposed to be better than what's in the palette but when i bought it i didn't realize that i had already gotten <laughs> the big tropic palette and i didn't really need this one but I think I'm going to keep it because I really want to compare the last two rows together with this one to see if this formula is better, if there's a difference in the formula, you know, or what. So I might do this like a comparison video to see if the formula is different between these two and just using the shades in the bottom to find out. I'm going to keep it. Next we have this one. This is from Kiko Milano. That's what it is. This is from Kiko Milano and this is the Tuscan Sunshine Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this. I never got around to using it, but I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. I was going to do it for a video because I thought the packaging looked absolutely gorgeous when I seen it on Trim Mood. And yeah, I just never got around to using it. And there's other color stories I love more. So, so this one is the Tuscan Sunshine Face Palette. It went with the collection. Here's what it looks like. It's really pretty, but... There's just other face palettes I love more. It even has like a thing on here to instruct you where to put stuff at if you don't know. But I think they're an Italian brand. Yeah, it says made in Italy. So Kiko Milano is an Italian brand. But I feel like they don't make shades for people with deeper skin tones. So, and there's just other face palettes I love more. So here we are with more Lime Crime. This is the highlight palette. This is a mermaid one. I think I might keep these because they're just unique highlights. I think they might look good on my eyes. But I just love that it has the mermaids. When <laughs> It even has like seashells and the flipper and everything there. Even though I feel like I do have this shade probably in the BH Cosmetics one I have. I think I'm going to keep this for now. I didn't get a chance to use it. I do really want to try it to see how it performs. I'm just going to go ahead and keep that. Here is this one. This is the Highlight Opals palette. It's another highlight palette. This one truly looks like it would make a gorgeous and a quarter highlight. I feel like some of these are even deep enough that I could use them as a one shade and go situation. I don't know if I want to get rid of this yet. I think I'll put it in the maybes pile and then we'll see once I get done here. Here we have the e.l.f. J. Kissa palette. This is the Elf J Kissa palette to the rescue. I never colored it up with my things, but this is literally the first rainbow palette I ever got. These shimmers are very gorgeous. 
I loved how the mats performed. This performed really good for me. There was some controversial things saying it wasn't as good as her first collab with Elf, but I thought it was a really good collab. I thought the color story, all the colors worked really good for me, but now that I, ha I do have more colorful palettes now, and I think I just have other colorful ones that I love more, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this palette. Next, we have the ColourPop in a Trance palette. This was part of their tie-dye collection. This color story looks like this. It's really pretty, but I'm going to declutter it. I just wasn't a biggest fan of these palettes. There's other ColourPop palette color stories. There's other color stories I like more than this one. So here's the Aura and Out. It was also part of all, all the palettes in the tie-dye collection. It's more of the orange and green, kind of like sherbet-y type colors. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this too. And just so you guys know, if you buy this, I left the plastic on the mirrors. So you're going to have that satisfying feeling of pulling the plastic off the mirror if you want. <laughs> Most stuff I leave the plastic on in case I don't want it. So this next one is the last one in the tie-dye collection, Miss Bliss. And it's like orangey and pinky tones. I'm definitely going to declutter this one too. I know some people were saying that their eyeshadow palettes didn't have the hearts in it. But mine has the hearts in it. So I'm going to declutter them. So this one's the Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop. Now, I never got around to using this either. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it because I do have the Sweet Talk palette that I like from ColourPop, which has peachy tones in it. And I don't feel like I need both of them. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one too. So next we have the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet palette, which <sighs> looks like this. It is a beautiful color story. But I didn't realize when I bought it that most of the purple shades are shimmer shadows. So I think I'm going to declutter this just because I have other purple palettes that I love more than this one. So here we have the Pat McGrath Mothership um, eyeshadow palette. She doesn't say which one it is. Mothership is the Rose Decadence eyeshadow palette. The color story looks like this. I think I'm going to keep this one too. I really do like the colors. Do I really need this though? You know what, I think I'm going to declutter it. I have the, the Rose Decadence, the, this is not the Rose Decadence one. I have the Mega Ship one, so I don't think I need this one too. Even though I really love this color story, this one is gorgeous. I think I am going to post this to sale. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I didn't think I would ever declutter this one. Because this is like the one six pan that I actually really loved from. Where I didn't love the other one, I loved this one. But I think I'm going to get rid of it. I have a lot of pictures to take, <laughs> to take after this. So this is the Alma palette. This is from Amy, Amy Hearts Beauty. And it was their collab with Amy Loves Makeup. Right? Amy Loves Makeup. I got this when she had her collab. And this was just terrible. I love the... It performs really good. But it's the messiest palette. But I'm going to keep it because I love the colors in here. It's a beautiful color story. It's no longer available. And, yeah. I love the colors in here. It has beautiful blues, periwinkles. This shade right here is like a blue teal duochrome. And then she has like these shades here that are great for inner corner highlights. I just love this palette. So, I am going to keep this one. I told you I was going to keep most of my indie palettes. <laughs> Okay. This is from Blush Tribe. They're no longer in business. They they changed their name to something else. And this is the Hasina 2 palette. I was going to keep this, but I think I'm going to get rid of it for the other reason that I got rid of the ColourPop. Just my luck palette. The greens in here are just not the greens that I love. I love either the darker, grungy, or olivey tone greens. And these are just like the true green greens, I guess you can say. It's just, I love the purple part of this palette and even the periwinkle here. But I'm not a big fan of, like, these type of greens. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this. And the fact that you can't get it anymore because Blush Tribe is no longer Blush Tribe. It's under a different name now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter that. This is already almost two hours. I hope I can cut some of this out. So, next we have the Flower Bomb palette. 
I might just fast forward through some of this and not even <laughs> show you all of it. <laughs> Here's the Flower Bomb palette. I I love this palette. I'm going to keep it. It's gorgeous. This I got af this after the Lemonade and the Smoky Glow palette because I wanted a pastel palette. And this has like beautiful pastels. It has a lot of um, glitter shades in here. There's not a lot of shimmer shades. It's mainly glitters to put on your eyes. But I really like this palette. I'm going to keep it for now. And I love the packaging on it. It's very cute. So this is the Alter Ego Artemis palette. I got this when it came out. It's a dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. And these are the type of greens I love. These darker, grungier greens are the type of greens that I like. This performed really good for me. Some people didn't like it because they have the, uh, I guess it's cream de powder formulas that Natasha Denona did. They did that in these two. But, yeah, I'm going to keep it because I love this palette and it is great for fall and winter to get the grungier tones so next we have this pro fusion cosmetics infatuation palette I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this too just because there's other color stories it's a pinky purple color story and there's just other ones that I love more than this one even though I just have so many of this color story I don't need this palette too even though pro fusion shadows amazing formula it's amazing their formula for such a cheap price they have such a great formula <laughs> okay i'll start in the back and then go to the front because i have to open up my mothership palettes so, next we have the lunar beauty eternal eclipse palette this is a newer palette to my collection and this is just gorgeous i love this bottom row here with this green and this was great as like a, a eyeshadow eyeliner using a liner brush this is just gorgeous this silver is like the silver in the in the other palette that i told you that was like liquid metal this one is just the same way it's a really good silver the mattes are really good yeah i'm gonna keep it obviously <laughs> i love i don't think i'll ever part with any of my lunar beauty palettes because i love them so this is the beetlejuice and milk cosmetics collab this is the waiting room palette I just got these two. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep it because I love Beetlejuice and I like this formula. It was really good. Performed really good for me. Only thing I wish is that this white was like a shimmery white so I could use it as like an inner corner highlight. I don't. I know there's some people that do, but I just don't like a matte white eyeshadow. It's not my thing. I'm not a big fan of black eyeshadows either, but yep, I'm keeping it. I love it. I'm going to keep it. Next we have this is the Beetlejuice Collection too, but the recently deceased eyeshadow palette. I really love this one. The pinks and the greens. I like these type of greens too. They have purple and green shadows. I'm keeping it. It's gorgeous. It's going to stay with me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go with this one first this one is i'm thinking about getting rid of the outer carton to these so this is the pat mcgrath labs the divine the divine rose palette looks like this I'm going to i'll take it out i got it in the in the limited edition packaging too when they had the limited edition packaging i got it in the limited edition packaging i wanted to get the mothership too also in the limited edition packaging but they didn't they sold out of that one but they still had this one so i got this one and this one i'm keeping i don't think i ever declutter these ones because this is when pat mcgrath finally did a color story that i loved and fun fact if you go on their website the day things launch or even the, i think the next day they have a code every time they launch something to get 20% off of all of their eyeshadow palettes. So even though they're normally $125, they always have a 20% discount whenever they launch something new that you can get it for under $100. So it is an expensive, very luxury brand because of these four shades or like special shades. But... Yeah, I loved it. This one I'm keeping. 
It'll be forever in my collection. Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Ape Divine Rose 2 palette. This is the second one that she did. And I bought this one on sale when they had their Black Friday sale this year. Last year. So I don't have it in the limited edition packaging even though I wanted it because it's like rose gold. But I did get it. This one. This one's so gorgeous. I love this duochrome. The duochrome is so beautiful. And with this hot pink shade underneath on the lash line. Oh, so cute. I love this story color. Yep. I'm going to keep it. So I've decided all this stuff that was in my maybe pile, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. So that includes this Tarte palette, both of my ColourPop palette, the Ooh La La, and the It's My Pleasure palette. I'm going to get rid of that one. The Book of Magic by Beauty Bay, I'm going to sell it. As much as it pains me to do it, because I do love this color story, I'm going to get rid of this Broke palette from ColourPop. And I will try to repress this for y'all and see if I can uh, clean it up and sell this one because I haven't touched it. I haven't even opened it because I didn't want to get um, the shimmer everywhere. But I think I am going to try to repress it and sell it. If not, I might just scrape out what's inside and keep it for the for the shades that aren't broken. But um, I do want to try to resell that. But here is the Pastels palette. I'm going to, after looking at the Flower Bomb palette, I decided I do want to get rid of that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Gemini palette, even though I didn't get a chance to use it from Zodiac Cosmetics. <sighs> There's just other color stories that I love more. So that one's going to go too. So <laughs> that is my video. It's finally the end, and this is coming up on to almost two hours. So I hope this doesn't end up being that long, because I don't know how many people are going to watch a two-hour video. So, I might fast forward through some of it. I don't know. So, here we are. So, I'm getting rid of all of those. Here is this bag down here. It's full. It's all all these plastic bags. And then we have a whole bunch down here. So, I'm sure there's a lot of palettes. If you really want to know the number, I'll try and count them and put them in the description box down below. But, for now... That's all for me. That's my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. I'm going to move on over. The, I guess this is all for my video today. I'm going to do next probably my blushes, my bronzers, and my highlights in a collection. So I'll see y'all guys next time for that one. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you want, you can uh, ring the bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future uploads. That way you'll never miss out on any of these amazing videos. And... You won't miss out on anything on my channel. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Ooh.